Hey, Paul, Inventor 3 here. Uh, we got the dual circuit now. Let's see, here's one circuit. Okay, this is going to our coils and then out to our antenna. Okay, and then our outputs here we have going to second circuit here. Uh, if you can even make it out there. Uh, and now when you add a second circuit, the ground here, you cannot, normally when you're using one circuit, you connect the ground in between the two large electrolytic capacitors. But when doing two circuits, it's always better results to have the ground off the same spot that we put the antenna but on the second circuit here. And this is still our output here. Uh, and also I have dangling down there our little 1000 ohm resistor. Okay, that's coming off our output there. So we're checking power now. Uh, it's been quite a while since I did the dual circuit again. Uh, let's look over here in my notes dual circuit with no load we're getting like 66.8 volts as opposed to over a hundred volts and we're getting 240 microamps as opposed to what was it like a hundred and twenty five or 100, 100 microamps or something like that it was with one circuit. So that's what we get with two circuits. Now with the load across the two circuits, we get 0 0.232 volts across the one kilo ohm resistor, which actually measures 981 ohms. So again, I'm using that number. And using those numbers now we get 55 microwatts so even though with the dual circuit we cut the voltage nearly in half uh, we almost more than double the current but anyhow it is giving us more power. It's given us about double the power. As opposed to our 16 to 20 microwatts that I was getting with one circuit. Now we are up to 55 microwatts. Ooh, more microwatts. Come on, I want milliwatts at least. So, <laughs> We're going to keep working on this.